apparently I forgot my driver's license, so I cannot rent the car. He vomited all over me. So isn't this crazy? There's Mayan temples in the middle of this small town, Isamal. Morning! This is my Mexico travel vlog and we're in Tickle, Amsterdam Airport right now. I'm looking for my gate and uh, yeah, can't wait. I really didn't sleep last night so I'm pretty tired. And so it's Luna because we had to wake up at 4. So yeah, talk to you in Mexico. p.m. here in Mexico but it's 3 a.m. in the Netherlands so we celebrated New Year's in the in the plane I just got to my hotel look at this isn't that cute <laughs> okay let me show you around quickly I have a kitchen <laughs> this is a um, Christmas in Mexico So, Luna hardly slept in the plane. And um, this is the way I'm talking to you now because traveling with a toddler and all of your luggage sucks. <laughs> so, uh, I do have some pictures. Luna slept in a little crib that they put in the airplane in front of me. Um, but <laughs> she usually sleeps very very late um, oh my god fireworks it really feels like I'm coming home here it's so weird to be here in Central America after three years and now uh, with mi hija who is half Nicaraguan um, so yeah before I'm just gonna rant here and talk about stuff that doesn't matter um, I'm just going to put Lynn to bed and make some food and <laughs> check in with you guys tomorrow. Bye! And you, Lunita? What are you doing, Oh my god, you opened the whole bag! When it's 4 a.m. and your baby's like, hey, my biological clock says it's 10 a.m. And even though I hardly slept. <sighs> Happy New Year. It's always funny that the, you have to turn the key around the other way than we do in Europe. <laughs> Those little differences. baby perfect nursery station so I bought these um, eco diapers um, normally we have cloth diapers that I wash <laughs> oh my gosh you look how cute these are with green leaves <laughs> so we just had our first tropical shower <laughs> And um, we woke up at midnight because I heard some fireworks. So I celebrated New Year's two times. Then you saw Luna woke up super early and we slept for another three hours. Um, and as I'm reflecting on 2017, I realized there were three major points for me to celebrate, which was building my business, of course. And I built it around my key value. <laughs> values, freedom, joy, and love. And that's also why I wanted to start this year with these key values. So that's why I'm taking time off with my baby, doing what I love, feeling totally free in Mexico. Um, and um, I lost some friendships, which is pretty 
sad, um, but they didn't really serve me anymore. They didn't make me feel good. And of course that made space for new friendships. So, um, and then of course, maybe the most important thing of all, my health came back. Um, and at the beginning of the year, I felt like, like a total zombie. I was totally exhausted. I slept 15 hours per day. So uh, yeah, it was a great, great year, but I want 2018 to even be bigger and better. So, um, you know, I think the biggest thing I realized in 2017 is it's the stories we tell ourselves that we believe. So I believe that as a single mom, I would never be able to travel because of money or because, you know, I wouldn't have enough hands <laughs> to, to handle this little one here. Um, so I'm starting this year with a new story and I really am embodying that and it feels so good. I feel so empowered and I really want to make this empowerment um, the, the thing for 2018. So empowerment and receiving abundance and I am more than ready for it. All right, ready to roll, do some groceries and check out the beach, of course. Okay, this is the biggest supermarket I've ever been. Yum yum! Oh, it took us an hour in this supermarket <laughs> to just get some essentials. So it's 8 a.m. now, we're gonna have the briefing with our tour operator and then we're gonna pick up our rental car and we have to drive pretty far today so I guess I won't be filming that much. Um, Looney woke up at 4.30 <laughs> so I hope she's gonna sleep in the car. Stuff that happens when you're packing your bag. <laughs> Luna. No. So what happened here? We've got a situation. Apparently, I forgot my driver's license, so I cannot rent the car. Um, I was so certain that I did bring my driver's license. So we're gonna have to go by bus. And the first bus leaves at 3 p.m. and it's quite far, so 
will probably be traveling in the dark, which is what I wanted to avoid. Um, but yeah, apparently the universe wants to put us through an adventure. And this little one here doesn't go to sleep. She's been awake since 4.30 and it's like 11 now. Um, we got a one person room in the hotel. They are so nice. It's Casa Celoa in Playa del Carmen. It's, it's a bit out of town, but they are so nice. So I just put her in this carrier and I hope she'll fall asleep like this. Oh my god, you guys, you won't believe me. So we waited in the hotel in Playa del Carmen all day because the bus tickets from the afternoon bus were sold out. And it took us about seven hours to get here. But Luna slept along the way. But before she did, she vomited all over me before we, before we went on the bus. Um, so. Okay, so that's why I'm wearing this sweater. Sweater time! Um, but look at this room. I mean, this makes up for this whole shitty day that we did. <laughs> I love how they do this. Little loony. <sighs> Kitchen. Oh, baby. Huge bed. Oh. And a green bathroom. <laughs> green blue bathroom. Oh. So. They're gonna make us some dinner now. And then I'm gonna sleep. Ciao. Morning. It's 7.30. It's an hour earlier here than in Playa del Carmen. So we've had a good night's sleep. And before we go to breakfast, I want to uh, prepare these laundry nuts so I can uh, wash our clothes, especially the really dirty clothes, so they can dry today. And then um, we can bring the clothes clean tomorrow. So, laundry nuts. They're really awesome. So, I'll put in like three or so. In the water. And then... When we get back, I will add some warm water to it. They have to be in here for like an hour or so. And then I can wash all the dirty clothes. took me about half an hour to wash and Looney fell asleep as you saw. She snored. Isn't that the cutest ever? So while she's asleep, I'm gonna have a nice shower. She's asleep, so that's great. And um, yeah, I just wanted to say about yesterday, I think the universe wants to teach me a lesson um, talking about receiving. I had to ask for help all day long yesterday. 
Luna puked on me. <laughs> I was totally, totally dirty. And um, I had to clean her, to change her in the bus. Then I had to ask people to carry our stuff because the baby carrier was dirty. Um, so I had to lift Luna and then I have all of my bags, um, you know, and I didn't bring a lot of stuff, but I was going to travel by car. Um, so I have like the, the stroller, my backpack, and then I have this other backpack in which I carried my hand luggage and uh, my purse in which I carry uh, all the baby stuff. So, you know, it's not much, but if you're gonna do the backpack way, it is too much. So, um, but yeah, you know, this is what it is. And uh, I am receiving this in full receptive mode. And I'm very grateful because yesterday I sat in the bus next to a Mayan woman and she was just talking about God. And she said, if you have faith in God, he has faith in you as well. And even though I don't consider myself religious, I do consider myself very spiritual. And um, I could totally see what she was saying. And I felt so, so grateful. And I met many awesome people on the road. And I actually was kind of surprised with how good Luna did this whole bus trip. She slept almost the whole way which was nice because it was in the dark and when it's dark she falls asleep more easily um so but apparently she's still very tired because she fell asleep again and it's only 10 a.m um so yeah i'm gonna show so i just found out luna has a high fever so now I understand the puking and the sleeping and the wanting to be with me all the time. So I don't really know what to do now. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on, but this holiday is not what I had in mind. Um, but yeah, receptive mode. So we went to see a doctor and apparently she has gastroenteritis which is like a stomach and intestines infection. Got a lot of uh, medications and we just got home and she crashed immediately. But we still have a horse carriage tour planned. Like, I don't know, tomorrow we have to take a bus again. So I am still thinking on whether I'm going to give the antibiotics or not because I'm not really a fan of antibiotics, but I can't travel with a kid like this. So here's our bungalow park in Isamal. Swing pool. This is not really easy with this stroller. Andrés, Debbie, mucho gusto. ¿Usted? Debbie. Debbie. Y ella es Luna. Luna. Sí. Bueno, bienvenidos a Isa Mal. Gracias. Sí, fui a dar una vueltecita. Árbol. Ah, sí, ese es el árbol maya, ¿verdad? Árbol, árbol sagrado, ¿verdad? Dios maya. So, isn't this crazy? There's Mayan temples in the middle of this small town, Isamal. Look at this. I'm always so impressed with these sacred places. Yeah. You too?
cool. We're not gonna climb up there. Not gonna do that to us. But it's pretty cool, right? <laughs> Walking back to the hotel. Look at this tree. It's magic. This is the sacred Maya tree, La Ceiba. We're back in our room. Luna is asleep. In half an hour, they're gonna serve us dinner. Um, and Luna just, she won't eat. Um, I did nurse her, luckily. So, I don't know, I'm kind of worried, but I'm trying not to worry too much, you know? Um, because I don't want things to get worse or to manifest um, in a way that I don't want to manifest them. So I gave her the medicines minus the antibiotics. I don't think it's necessary. They prescribe <laughs> um, antibiotics here if, like if it's nothing and it's really heavy especially for these small kids you know. Um, I just make I have to make sure that she'll stay hydrated um, and hopefully eat something. So she ate some fruit in the morning, but not too much either. And that's everything she ate today. Um, so let's see if she'll have some dinner.